Hi, my name is Sam Was one and welcome to the most iconic map in Team Fortress 2, CTF 2-4. This map is, by far, the most played map in all of the game. However, this is because it is a medium-sized map with both closed corridors and an open center that can make for many different playstyles and strategies, so finding the optimal way to play Thomas Love Heavy was an interesting and aggravating challenge. However, considering this map is probably one of my single most played maps in the game, I think I have some ideas. First of all, let me clarify something that will take effect for the rest of this series. I'm making this video using my loadout, which is as follows. Tomislav primary, banana, or rarely sandwich, secondary, and gloves of running urgently, or bread bite reskin melee. These weapons are my personal favorites, and if you try to convince me otherwise, you're wrong. Because of 2 forts size, you can usually afford to be a roamer, so don't be afraid to try out anything that feels like it gets you a lot of kills. As long as you're top scoring, nobody can really complain that you're not a team player. And uh, watch out for pyro sharks in the sewers. They may just be memeing around, but they're still pretty deadly if you don't see or hear them coming. Alright. 2-4 is a well-balanced cap to the flag map with multiple routes that you can use to head to the intelligence room front, and many side routes or potential strategies for getting. As I recommended in my previous turbine strategy video, here's a word of advice. Don't stay in the open. Of the entire map, I'd have to say that three spots particularly are my favorite for playing cap. First of all, is the enemy team's sewer entrance. You can just wait there, and the enemy's battlement snipers can't see you. And pretty much what you do there is you just mop up anyone that comes down, and as long as you know how to turn around every now and then and make sure nobody's sneaking up from behind, you should be pretty good. Nobody can really see you that well because they're underwater, and even if you can't see them, you can at least see the splashes. All they can see is the bullets and the Second of all, is the top of the stairs leading up from the sewers. Both waiting at the bottom and at the top can be very effective depending on the situation that you find yourself in. As long as you know how to look up and shoot between the railings, you should be perfectly fine. Just make sure that if you're at the top of the stairs, probably it's not going to be your best bet to stand in the doorway. You want to just camp right next to it with your gun pointed at it, but not in the doorway. A lot of really good snipers can take advantage of the long sight line right there and you don't want to mess with snipers. Lastly is the ramp area leading down to the intelligence room that I and many others know as Spiral. You constantly remain revved up while turning corners, probably jump and rev up at the same time for even more speed and surprise. You can ambush a pyro or an engineer that's heading up or down. Keep in mind that you'll get pushed hard if you have their intelligence coming out of it, but heavies and Spiral are still pretty brutal. This is one of those situations where it would be best to not have enemies know you're there. So if you know that the enemies know you're there, run. You'll probably pray. Praying would also be good too. Okay, run. Bonus advice time. This map is great for coordinated pushes. Nine times out of ten, the enemy team will have sentries on their courtyard balcony, and I'd say there's a 50-50 chance they have a sentry in their intelligence room. Of course, with a good corner positioning, you can kill these sentries without taking any fire yourself, but if you don't trust yourself with that level of precision, it would be best to call Doctor! for a medic in the voice chat, or at least announce your push in the team chat. In the same way, when you're away from the rest of your team, and you see a butt-ton of people coming your way in sewers, announce that they're pushing sewers and wait at a corner. Corner sneak attacks spread discord and terror, and that will easily buy enough time for your team to get there, if you somehow don't win the engagement. Finally, always remember to constantly shift your location to new corners or to other ends of the room so that nobody can get the drop on you. If any class, even a scout, if he's good, knows you're there, they can probably counter and kill you pretty fast. You don't want that, so randomize yourself after every kill. Thanks for tuning in to this fairly short strategy video, and let me know what you think. I'm well aware that these strategies were fairly limited in perspective, as I was the only one making this script. But leave a comment down below how you deal with noobs on 2 Fort. Also, keep in mind, I have a Twitch channel, so be sure to go check that out at twitch.tv slash samwas1 every day in the evening for stale memes on a regular basis. Thanks so much for being here and helping me grow a tiny gaming community, and I'll see you later. Have a great day, everyone.